what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Flar Diaz, Vacuous Depths, and thanks to the band, I left the note downstairs, I just realized, but thanks to the band, we have a cassette first pressing on Blood Harvest Records of Corporal Humiliation, also released on Goat Throne Records, and I think Chaos Records in Mexico as well. But this is the Blood Harvest cassette version. I will show you the Insane Cosmetics in a moment. But I'm so stoked for the Vacuous Depths guys because I've seen them grow from this bad boy. I have the white tape as well. I Ever since I heard this, I have been pretty much like obsessed with this band and... I kind of liked how it was, you know, kind of low-key and stuff. This is the 2017 Vacuous Depths demo slash EP. I'm not sure what they consider it. But uh, through Tackhead and Goat Throne Records, the cover artwork by Steve Bauer is amazing. Very, like, biomechanical yet at the same time uh not really giger like not super giger influence but giger enough and this guy right here it looks like the cover of this one death metal record i'm drawing a blank ah oh, it's like a classic too but I don't know if that's paying homage, but I always wanted to hang this little poster up, but I could never do it. I just didn't want to ruin, like, I just didn't want to mess up my J card because it has the lyrics and everything. But it's a really, you know, again, I'm not trying to be that guy, but like, you know, I've been waiting for this for a while, and I was not at all disappointed. Like, not at all. This is killer, killer death metal for fans of death metal. This is some poser disposing death. And again, when it comes to the cassette cosmetics, just amazing I really wish I could remember what name that band is it starts with a B I know that it's like pro something but a really amazing release right here both by vacuous depths Ah, if I put the... It's one of those J cards. It's super weird. Ah. See? I, I'm sorry. I'm going to get frustrated. <laughs> I'll fix that in a minute. So, Carl Dahmer did the artwork. I do wish I had this on 12 inches of wax. But I'm happy enough to have the cassette. Thank you. And there's some killer songs on here. The title track's great, but I love Worshippers of Death. Deep Night is badass. Sodomized. Cycle of Control. But uh, Carnival of Venom? Hell yeah. And looking at some of these show flyers, like playing with uh, Death Angel, Worsen. Ex Mortis, Gwindagang, Necrot, Grave Ascension, Rest in Power. 
Let's say funerals. I think that says funeral stench. I... But I love this promo photo as well. You have Austin Thomas on vocals and guitar. Arto Palmo on bass and uh, Dustin Rogers on drums. But I love how it's like just right there with like all the show flyers, live photos. Hell yeah. And again, like I really wish 12 inches with the artwork's fantastic. The lyrics are great. Carl Dahmer and like Future Matt. I, I just I love their art styles. Like they're similar yet very different. But like with corporal humiliation, it's legit. Like I, I know I say it a lot, but it's it's fucking true. It's death metal for fans of death metal. Like, and I know that sounds lazy, but, like, I'm not being, I'm telling you the truth. How does this go back in? Ah! I'm serious. I, I, I can't do it. Oh, my. We can make a video how stupid I am. Jesus Christ. And I know I did this. Yep, I did this wrong yet again. Because... I suck at life, and I'm not talking about the board game. If you could tell me what band sings that song, you get a virtual fist bump. But, again, vacuous depths, hell yeah. And again, with the cassette cosmetics, going back to the demo slash EP, again, I don't know what vacuous steps consider it i probably should have asked before making today's video but i the cover art here is just amazing i'm sorry it's not as clear but it's great matches the tunes but i would have put that on the cover that's just me though but it's got the Blood Harvest logo. My knee's bleeding. Damn it. But check this out. Here's the cassette cosmetics. Woo! That's two in a row. Eternal Rot. And Vacuous Depths. Killing it with the Graveyard. Full tape. Cosmetics. Two days in a row. That was a total accident, too. Carl Dahmer. Mark Riddick. Mark Riddick. Carl Dahmer. Both equally awesome. This is a little more sickening. This is a little more straightforward. But again, two releases in a row where the cosmetics are top shelf. The tunes are also top shelf. Yet yeah, I don't have the LP to compare to, but fucking A. Again, if you like just nasty, rotten, dirty death metal from Florida, like, you can't go wrong here. Because there's still that, like, Florida death metal sound. It's just not, like, super Scott burns -y, you know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, like, it's not, it's very, like, oh. Like, just, it's savage sounding, it's raw, but at the same time, it's loud, it's, like, I want to look at the production real quick, because it's, like, really 
diode, and you get a real sick cover at Troops of Doom as well. I forgot about that, the, the Sepultura cover. It's a Potra! I'm sorry! We always called it Sepultura, but I've heard somebody was like, it's Sepultura. Like, sweet tribal. <laughs> yeah, the, the dude had a tribal tattoo. So I, I did. I was like, yeah, sweet tribal. <laughs> Sick guy. But, um, all right. So there's a lot of sick bands that are kind of similar. Like, I would say Church of Disgust. Like, but that's some goth coast death metal. Although they were lurking in the depths of Florida for a minute. I kind of feel like listening to... Some Church of Disgust. I have the LP of the first record over there. Uh, I'm kind of feeling some Devil Master. I've been on a little Devil Master kick. I love, but I, I seriously love, 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 love Ecstasies of Never Ending Night. I mean, Philly's best vampires right here. Just sucks they're on one of the worst labels ever. Well, I should say one of the worst labels in recent times when it comes to customer service, not music, and reissues. But vacuous depths with corporal humiliation. Again, when you have multiple labels releasing your stuff, you're doing something right. And, you know, having Blood Harvest, like, all reputable, awesome labels, for the most part. I have some personal issues with Chaos. I'm not going to get into it, but, like, it definitely took over a year to get a certain record. And it wasn't even from Chaos. They canceled my order and didn't tell me. Until six months after it was canceled. This pre-order was such a shit show. And they did this reissue as well, which I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna show it because I knew in advance that the reissue was boof. I heard it was terrible. It was not worth even wasting your money. I'm not trying to be a dick either. This is what I was told. I followed what everybody said. And I'm not even joking. Probably one of the best reissues in my collection happened because I did not go for the automatic chaos version. For one, I figured, I was like, well, if I order it from chaos, it will probably get here by the time that the Dark Descent version comes out. And I was kind of right, but kind of off. But what I wasn't off on was the track list, because this is a double LP. I heard the sound quality on this is a million times better because I have a friend that bought both copies. Because he was like legit bummed out by the other version of The Gloomy Reflection of Our Hidden Sorrow by Cenotaph. He got the non crypt Dark Descent version. And when it comes to reissues, if you you know, follow kind of, you know, the classic, obscure death metal, like, you know, are message boards still, like, a thing? But I see you, you know what I, I mean, like, but anyways, like, I, I, I was reading, like, it might have even been on, yeah, it was on Facebook, actually. But, um, yeah, some, they were like, do not get the Chaos Records edition. 
Because, like, this is mastered from the original DAT tape also. But, like, double LP, you get the demos. Although I have them on cassette still. They're on vinyl. Holy shit. Oh, they're disgusting. And I know that they're, like, available separately as well. But, like, I like having, like... The gloomy reflection of our hidden sorrows. If I want to listen to it, I can. Sorry. Piece of gray hair. Yeah, my birthday's coming up. Not stoked. Gonna be 39. It's a sad day. But, yeah, I was just, like, warned away from the, um, chaos records edition again i just heard stories about warped records you know not having the demo material i i don't really i don't know off the top of my head but the fact that again i can listen to the rise of excruciation 1990 demo tenebrous apparitions 1990 ep and the eternal disgrace ep on vinyl like, I'm gonna have to be a nerd real quick. Like, yeah, I can listen to the cassette versions. And I'm actually going to. That sounds like a plan. After the video, but like, to me, like, it's awesome to have. And I know you might be like, wait, why do you have the tape demos and the vinyl? Because they sound different. Quality. Sometimes demo tape just sounds the best as a demo tape. But at the same time, I like having like extra artwork and all this awesome extra stuff. Like the poster has a bunch of the other stuff on it. And I, I just decided to hang it up from the Dark Descent reissue. But the ERP reissue with all the classic shit oh my goodness like seriously essential i think this has a bonus track uh evoke doom from uh the the the, the what comp is that i forget honestly i'm sorry but just such a good like i love extremely rotten and it's mostly because they care about extreme music past in a way that a lot of other labels just use as a cash grab. But I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to bring that stuff up. But yeah. And then Blood Harvest doing your stuff. Goat Throne. To me, Goat Throne's like one of the most underrated American labels like in the game. From, like, some of their reissues that they'll randomly, like, drop. Like, I'm looking at some right now. Hold on. And, need I say more? The Goat Throne Imprecation box set? Like, uh, yeah. Essential. You know what? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to the... Listen to the cassette version of the demos, then some Devil Master, and then later on, we'll see. But when it comes to the new vacuous depths, corporal humiliation, just some sickening, crushing death metal for fans of death metal there's no breakdowns there's no parts where you're gonna want to spin kick your friend in the face some legit an another what i consider a poser disposer it just kicks ass and it has that goth post 
like vibe to it. And what I'm talking about is it kind of has that church of disgust, like heaviness. And just like vibe of like filth. I, I really should grab the first. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I, I should have grabbed this ahead of time. Because it's just one of those releases. And of course. Not going to be where it needs to be. Sivorous. Teotin. Celtic Frost. Cadaveric Incubator. Carcass. What? See, I knew it wasn't going to be where it was fucking supposed to be. And now I forget what I was even looking for. Oh my god. I hate my brain. Hold on. I apologize. Zach Tiff is deaf. Oh, I my copy of, uh, where the, f where's my Church of Disgust? I know it's in here. I can, fuck, I'm sorry, I, I can't find it, it's right there, it's just like behind a record, I'm getting frustrated. God damn it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sorry. But if I had to compare Vactitious Depths to anyone, aside from Church of Disgust, it's gonna be fellow Floridians. Grave Ascension, rest in power. Like... They just have, to me, like, they were the filthiest thing coming out of Florida. Like, wow. Now, we just need a vacuous depths Druid Lord tour to come through Philly. Maybe with, like, Worm or something. I don't know. That'd be sick. Have, like, a full stacked Florida lineup. Make it happen. Like, that would sell out, and you know it would. Like, sometimes I wish I was, like, a booker. Like, because, like, I would legit, like, book that tour for summer. That'd be a summertime tour. Like, 100%. Like, I'm talking East Coast. See how East Coast does, and then book a West Coast one for a couple months later. I feel like that would be really, really cool. And take each city one one or two regional bands opening. So like, let's say you're playing like in the Pacific Northwest. You could have like, you know, technically like hemorrhoid play. Torture rack. You see what I'm saying? Like, you could, like, really have, like, a gnarly show. Like, Oxygen Destroyer with Druid Lord. Worm, but, like, if Worm is playing the Pacific Northwest, you, you gotta have more to firm. You do. For real. Why wouldn't you? Worm and more to firm, like, come on, you have to. That's, like, a... No matter what, that's a sellout show. And then again, you throw Druid Lord on there. You're bringing more of the Doom. And it's just, it's sick. There's a lot of really gnarly bands in Florida and the Gulf Coast. Like, even Church of Disgust. Like, I know it's half Texas, half Florida now. But, like, I, I think I'd be um, in um, another, like, an amazing addition to a tour like that. Like, Church of Disgust, Vacuous Depths. Worm and Druid Lord. There you go. That right there is a boom. Every show is going to be sold out. It's going to be awesome. And then you can just do one regional opener. Or none. But like the one would, I just think, you book the best band in that city. Like if you're playing Philly, you try and get Pissgrave to play it. That's just what I would do in that situation. But when it comes to death metal, I'm sorry, I got off topic, but not really. 
but Vacuous Depths, Goat Throne Records, Blood Harvest Records, Chaos Records. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, those are some those are some serious labels and putting out some serious death metal here. So I slept on this and I was legit kicking myself in the ass for not getting the LP, but this sounds great on tape. Thank you so much to Vacuous Depths for making today's video possible. Same with Aaron at Goat Throne Records. You rule. And I'm not sure who's in charge of Blood Harvest, but good job, especially like releasing LPs of like Snent and stuff. Like I, I still don't have the Cavern rehearsal on vinyl, but one day it will be mine. But links will be in the video description. Get in the vacuous depths, corporal humiliation, blood harvest, and goat throne records, as well as chaos records. Thanks for watching as always. Fucking rule. Yes, this is a spectral voice European tour shirt. Chaos. <clears throat> From 2017.